Welcome to this Windows and Computer Channel and uh, another feature of the version 2004 of Windows 10 coming up later this year, well, in April actually, is an option that is very nice. It's always been complicated if you are using more than one language on a PC. It's always been kind of a little complicated to understand where, how, why, and what of the way things actually happen and the keyboard layout and so on and as a tech guy I can tell you it was one of the major questions here because in uh, Quebec in the province of Quebec we have you know bilingual people that speaks French and English but you know throughout the world a lot of us actually are bilingual and sometimes we need to write in a different language than the main language we use every day so to simplify things, in Windows 10 version 2004, if you go into your settings, start menu, settings app, and you go into time and language, if you look at language, they've now aggregated all the different options at the top with their main language. So here it tells me my Windows display language is English United States, my apps and websites English United States the regional format used English United States keyboard is in English United States and speech Cortana and stuff like that is in English Canada because there are some differences but depending on what you want to do you can click on one of these options and of course change that option to a different option so here I can say I want to change that to English Canada actually because it the formatting does change depending on how we use your computer and here in Canada and in the US often the dates are reversed so uh, all the things that you can actually uh, do to make sure that they are um, you know what you actually are used to basically and uh, when you do changes within this uh, language and region uh, option uh, here remember one thing is that you might need to either restart some apps or even sometimes restart the computer the PC for all of these options to actually take place so this is nice because the main problem has always been this to kind of understand what is what in the layout for example keyboard I might want to change the keyboard layout to a different layout if I want so uh, by going here and say I'm gonna use uh, you know English Canada US or Canadian multilingual standard this changes actually the way that my keyboard is actually working and gives me uh, input that might be different and of course this all has to do with all the languages that you've got installed so if you don't see some of the options that you desire to have a different option you got to make sure that you got to add the language pack that goes with the option that you want to use so here you see even when it's not fully downloaded it tells you language packs available and of course you've got all of the little options here that tells you the little icons in the language that says your language pack is installed, text to speech is installed, speech recognition installed, uh, handwriting installed, and basic typing is installed and available for spell checkers. So, all of that, when you install something, you gotta install the different uh, packs, language pack available for all the different options to actually work and be available in your languages. So, updated. Windows Display Language, and of course, we'll have more in-depth look at all of this because we will be looking at how to change things, change the language, change a keyboard in a very specific way so that everybody knows how to do it in future videos. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching.